Hey, well, what's up, guys? I know only this is only the third day in, well, third week technically, but third video in that I am doing videos, trying to get them out every Tuesday. It is currently Monday, and I need to get it out tomorrow. But I just wanted to basically explain why it has to be a video like this already, why it can't just be any other type of video. Well, it's because work last week has been completely fun, definitely 100% fun. Breaking down on the side of the interstate, um, getting back a truck that's eventually going to break again. So, it, I didn't really get much time because there's been days that I've been out for a while and then as soon as I get home, I just I just want to relax. And then Saturday, I was just like, okay, I'm not going to record today because tomorrow we're going, we're going on a trip with Zach. Sorry, I'm trying to get home because today was a fun day as well. I wanted to record during work, but... <laughs> And I don't have my GoPro on me, so I can't just stick it to the mount and talk to that. So, got my phone. So, sorry about any background noise. But, so, Monday, my truck starts acting up. Like, literally, as soon as I leave the terminal, like, I'm on the road. I Literally, I started this video when I was at the terminal. And I didn't start driving until, what, like, 30 seconds ago? So, it started acting up on this road right here. And I was just like, okay, that's weird. Why? And so I decided, I just told my boss what was happening. They uh, took it to the mechanic, said, hey, where my dad and my brother work. My dad used to be the main mechanic, but he got a little into a little work accident. So he's more of a supervisor, in like a supervisor position now. Um, and my brother, he's basically like the head of, like the manager of the truck that comes to the terminal and fixes up the trucks as much as he can out of, outside of their, uh, little work truck. Um, so I tell him about it. They're just like, oh, okay. Um, so later that day, my manager comes, brings me a different truck so I can finish my day. I'm doing nine over right now, and this vehicle behind me is catching up, and okay, he's now finally switching lanes. Um, I'm just trying not to go too fast so I can actually think and speak instead of paying more attention to the road. So, um, he takes it to the shop. They look it over, it's like, oh, it's just the parking brake, should be fine now, and then this and that's making this thing, but it's perfectly fine to drive on, doesn't make a difference. So, so I get it back later that day, and then Tuesday I drive it, I'm on the interstate, next thing you know, I break down. Well, I didn't technically break down. I could have still drew, drew like, words are difficult right now. They have been all day. But I could have uh, drove it more, but I noticed out of the uh, dog box which is what the uh, engines underneath like we can easily pull it off and then that's how you change all the spark plugs is it's right there so it's literally I'm like th no more than three feet away from the engine I start seeing smoke coming out from there and I'm like that's not good so I pull over I quickly hop out with the fire extinguisher and getting ready to use it and I'm just looking and smoke dis dissipated and I'm just like okay so I called up uh, my maintenance manager because he gets really upset when I either go straight to my uh, brother or dad or I go to my uh, immediate supervisor instead of going straight to him. So I was just like, hey, this is happening. He was like, hey, I'm on a route today. Can't really do anything. Try calling your brother. And I'm just like, you get pissed when I do that. So I'm just like, whatever. So I call up my brother. He meets me out on route after about 30, 40 minutes because uh, he was still at the terminal. Um. And so I'm just like, all right, cool. He's looking it over, just like, okay, um, 
just your parking brake, but it's getting so hot that it's literally melting the backing plate so it can protect against something. I don't know exactly what the backing plate was 100% uh, for. Uh, give me a second. Sorry, I had to reply to a text from my mom asking me if I wanted anything from Chipotle. Um, but it was literally melting the backing plate. And I, so he was just like, it's your, it's your parking brake. Uh, call, call, uh, Paul, call my immediate supervisor. So I did explaining everything to him and he's just, so he talks to his immediate supervisor, which is the main boss besides for our contractor. And he was just, he, so, uh, he was, he asked, uh, my immediate supervisor, like, tell him that, uh, if he can still drive on it. Cause like, we, we don't have another truck to bring out right now. So he, he, my immediate supervisor asked me that question. So I turned to my brother and I'm just like, um, how safe is it to drive right now? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a fire hazard right now. Oh, can you please uh, at least try and get on the route or something? And so I tell my brother and he uh, looked ahead and he was just like that overpass right there. It's probably about a mile down the road, if not a little bit closer. Um, he was just like, yeah, your truck's most likely going to burst down into flames right there. I'm just like, okay, cool. Yeah, no. Um, so the entire thing just started going on and uh, finally they were able to bring me out of the truck. Uh, I, my brother and I just slowly tried to get it um, over because uh, I started driving it like after all that and my brother tells me to pull over because uh, my entire back of my truck was just smoke. So I was just like, okay, cool get over he checks it again he's just like all right uh 50 miles per hour that's it on a 70 mile per hour lane so i'm just like all right cool uh hazards he had his hazards on just followed me until we reached the first exit which isn't too far from where my uh girlfriend's parents live so i'm just like okay um so i uh go ahead Okay, I don't know what happened. There we go. I'm back. Don't know what happened. It flipped my camera, and my camera was, like, zoomed in dramatically, so whatever. Um, so I go ahead, drop it off right there. Wait, my brother has to leave because he was helping our grandmother move. So he, he helped me until about 11.20, then he had to head back to the terminal because he was getting off at 12.00. So I go ahead and I'm, I just wait probably about another 10, 15 minutes and then my manager shows up with another truck. We, it takes us like uh, about 30, 45 minutes to load up everything because my truck was full, it was packed. And it went from a P1200 to a P1000. So it's dramatically, like it's a, it's, it's, it's a good amount smaller. Um, so we do that so it takes me a little bit longer to deliver now because of all because I'm in a smaller truck with a, a lot of packages so that truck's completely full um and then my manager has to take uh some of my pickups away well actually he ended up doing all of them because I was still delivering until like 6 40 that night and I need to start pickups at latest 3 30 and my last pickup happens at six o'clock. So if I had to do that, I would have been full while I was still delivering, which would have even lasted longer. I would have been out to like nine, 10 o'clock at night. Um, so he uh, goes ahead and does all that, gets into it, gets into like a little hissy fit. I call him out for all for the DOT regulations that he had me break. Um, And then he starts acting super nice, asking me if he, if he wants him, if he wants me for, to give him some, uh, so he can uh, help me out after everything that just went down. I was like, no, it's fine. 
because I didn't want to see him at all. I was just like, no, I'm being the bigger man about this. Like, I'm only 23. Like, I just turned 23 last month, and I have a 34, 35, 36-year-old, like, mid-30s uh, guy bit telling me to be a man because I went straight to Johnny being like, hey, I don't appreciate how Paul's talking to me. Um, all I did was ask him to do one thing, and I can do a bigger thing. And he wants to throw a hissy fit. Just so you know, 6 o'clock, I'm out. I don't care how many packages I have left. Um, so uh, my, my immediate supervisor and I just get into like a big argument. Uh, I mean, he's the one arguing. I'm trying my best to act nice. And I tell him like, like, like he says, we all have bad days. Come on. I'm just like, yes. But as you can see, I also have bad days, but I still come in. I have a smile on my face. Like, I love my job, don't get me wrong, but there are bad days. But you can ask any of my um, any of my customers that I come in with a smile on my face. I will explain to them that I'm having a bad day because I'm really cool with them. But I'm still, I still have a smile on my face. I'm still cracking jokes with them. And they love me for that. Because lots of these other guys, they come in and they don't, they're not smiling whatsoever. So... Um, and it was a pretty crappy truck that I was in too. So, <laughs> so then, um, Wednesday rolls around. I'm in like a 2018, 2019, uh, P 1200 Freightliner. I hate the Freightliners cause at the back that they, they just step down. Um, and then Thursday I get my truck back. I'm driving it. It's acting super weird. It's, it's shifting super hard. So later that night, I go to my, I like, because I still live with my parents, because I did live with one of my buddies, but he kind of messed that up, uh, and he didn't pay his half the rent, so I was just like, all right, cool, we got evicted, so since with I have an eviction on my credit now, nobody will accept me, um, so I had to move back in with my parents, and... So I went to my dad late that night. I was just like, hey, my truck's acting super weird. It's shifting hard. And he was just like, yeah, I bet it is. I was just like, well, what do you mean? There's a cop. You can probably, yep, you can see it on my face. There's two cops. Nice. And I think the one who pulled the other one over is BPD, which is Bradenton Police Department, which is where I'm going now, but we're in Palmetto. But the one in the back was... Uh, Palmetto Police Department. That's weird. But okay, I, I guess that's how it's going to go. But my nose is just. But he was. I was just like, what do you mean by you bet it is acting weird? It was just like because I, I already told them this is what's going to happen. Like, don't drive the truck. Like they wanted you to drive the truck. You drove it a little bit more. So I don't blame you. It's their fault because I 100% told them like, hey, he can't drive the truck. And yeah, now it's inevitable that my transmission is going to go out and it's been acting that way since uh, Friday, Thursday. Wait, no, Wednesday I was off. Wednesday I was off, so somebody else is doing my route. And then Thursday um, is whenever they were just like, hey, we got your truck going to go get it so then I got to drive my truck on Friday all that happened on Friday night but yeah he was just like yeah it's your transmission's going to go out uh so they just want you to keep driving it so just keep driving it until the transmission comes out like it, it, it's it's going to happen uh it's going to be a crappy day for you just keep doing it so I'm like cool all right at least I have a heads up because today my transmission was doing really well. Like it was shifting really nicely. No problems whatsoever. Oh shit. I don't need to be in this lane. I need to be. I, I, need, I, need, I need to be one lane. I need, to, I need to. I was in the far right lane. I need to be in the far left lane. Because that one lane ends in one light. And then the other lane. The middle lane ends in like two lights. And then this one keeps going. I need to keep going. Um. So... 
that was that week and then saturday like i said i was just like okay we're going to go to um fort lauderdale with my buddy and we can do a nice little road trip vlog uh get one for the main channel uh get one for my channel and on monday i can edit it and post it late that night and then have it scheduled for uh tuesday at 12 p.m because that's my upload schedule but we ended up not going on tuesday on uh sunday so I, I i wasn't able to record and then i was going to be like okay cool let me just record another day in the life of a fedex driver uh yeah i had a very busy day so that wasn't happening so you get this video just uh me explaining how my week went but that's basically everything that happened what i have to put up with uh basically on a day-to-day -day basis is managers trying to make me break dot violations um my truck breaking down me getting in trouble for it even though it wasn't my fault because my dad's only witnessed what happened to my truck twice this is the second time that he has witnessed this happen to a truck because it's not supposed to happen and i never use my emergency brake i'm supposed to but i don't um so I'm not the reason why it went out. And my dad was just like, hey, if they have a problem with why, like if they say that you're the reason why this happened, tell them to come to me. I will set all of this straight. And uh, yeah, he went up to my manager also and was just like, hey, if you have a problem with my son, you have a problem with me. We can take it outside right now. I don't care. Uh, that's what it's like having an overprotective dad who uh, works on your vehicles. That like our company is the biggest company out of our terminal, and there are they are our mechanics. Uh, they do other trucks mechanics, but we're their biggest customers. So uh, they, my dad and my brother, know everything that goes on with my trucks. That's why whenever that's why I love it because at least whenever my dad was the main mechanic, as soon as my truck pulls in. It's the first one to pull out after, obviously, like if he's in the middle of working on one, he'll get that one finished, but mine's like next in line. Even though like I can skip five trucks, mine's the next one out. But I mean, it's a longer video than I expected. It took a while to explain everything that happened. So hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, I guess I'll see y'all next week because I'm not editing this. I'm too tired for that. Might go hang out with Zach don't 100% know yet um I'm about to pick up my girlfriend and my baby so I guess I'll see y'all next week peace